All right, guys, this is how you don't level your lawn. This is how you make it not flat, apparently. Uh, I took a lot of time off over the past couple days to do family stuff over the weekend. Uh, I fell a little bit behind on this project here, uh, but we're coming along. I, I think it's going to be ready for grass seed later today. We'll see. Um, I have some other things going on, but I kind of want to show you where I'm at. Let me flip it around here. I'll zoom out here. So I have dug everything here up. And we're talking like it's a foot deep. Uh, dug up all of the rock have been removed. I've lost count of how many wheelbarrows of rock I've removed. But it's somewhere in the vicinity, in just this area alone, somewhere in the vicinity of about nine wheelbarrow loads full of rock. Uh, including that one right there. And I still got another pile here to sift through. So what I've done, let me get down so you can see the perspective here, is I'm slowly flattening everything here out, but I'm starting to go up right there. So I'm starting to do a slope. So I've backfilled behind a board, uh, a whole bunch of dirt, and then I wetted it down. I'm using the water as kind of a compaction. As it dries out, then I'm gonna go step on it um, and really kind of compact it down. Compacting, I mean, it's just my foot. So it's not like gonna be heavily compacted. It's still gonna be loose uh, in terms of like grass and root systems and whatnot. Uh, but the whole point is to have it going up the slope, but I need that slopey part to be firm enough so that uh, erosion doesn't happen while grass is establishing. So I've got a heavier slope and then a miniature slope and then everything behind these boards here should be completely flat. See, I got my level out there. It's raised up a little bit because it's sitting on the bar, but everything here should be level. And then behind this, I'm also going to start sloping up because, you know, it's a big hill at some point you got to start going up so everything here should be as flat as possible matching for the most part the main yard in fact i'm even going to mix in some kentucky bluegrass and perennial rye into this and taper the uh, kbg perennial rye out while i taper the buffalo grass in so the uh, irrigation system actually oversprays to probably about this line so the KBG perennial rye should do pretty good here. And then the buffalo should start uh, doing much better as it goes this way uh, because it's not getting sprayed with the irrigation system. Now, because I've removed so much rock, there's my son over there making a whole bunch of noise. What's up, man? Standing under the shade of the tree? Yeah. It's going to be 97 degrees today. You better stay in the shade. <laughs> There's the girl. Yay. Anyway, uh, because I've removed so much rock here, and I did take some dump, to, uh, uh, some loads. You need a bubble water too? Okay, give me one second. I'll get you a bubble water, okay? So I did take, when I started this, I took some dirt up to the top of the hill uh, that I thought I might need to bring back down or I could keep it up there. But we'll see how much dirt I'm going to be short but I'm shaving, like literally shaving. I'm taking a flat edge shovel and shaving into the hillside right here to flatten everything out. So the, the ground level about a week ago, I don't know, maybe more than a week ago, was a solid foot, maybe a foot and a half. I don't know, it was probably about a foot higher. It went up the chain link here and there was like a piece of garbage uh, plywood holding it back from going under the thing. Uh, it looked terrible, and I just ignored it for a long time. So I dug it all out, and I've shaved this thing off. So it's not exactly flat at the bottom, but at least we can get down to the uh, to the concrete slab on the outside of the fence. Once there's grass there, won't really be able to take a lawnmower right up along the edge. I'll have to like string trim that, but everything else should work with a lawnmower, and that should hold all the the dirt back instead of having it mounded up and then held with a with a plywood. But anyway, this is an awful lot of work. It's way more work, really. I mean, I knew it was gonna be a lot of work, 
it's a little bit more work than I was expecting to take on. Like I just, I don't know, I just assumed that I'd be able to get through this faster. The simple fact of the matter is I've got four kids and it's summer break. So although I'm here and it doesn't take me that long to sift through the dirt, dig it and sift through it, I'm I'm fathering all the time in between, uh, you know, in between the stuff that you guys watch me do. So, um, so it's taken me a few extra days than I would have liked. But over there on the straw, I'll show it to you later, probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, we've finally got our first sprouts of buffalo grass seeds. So it's very encouraging to do this work while watching the buffalo grass actually start coming in. So anyway. That's the update for today. See you guys later.